Hi guys, I decided to re-record this video because the um, angle of the camera was really bad. It was like a thin uh, line. So um, here I am again. Okay, well, I wanted to share with you um, the new item that's out in Michaels right now. This is the We Are Memory Keepers um, typewriter. <laughs> Now, the color you're looking at is blush, it's a pink, and I apologize that um, the lighting is not that great, it's nighttime, so um, I recorded this in daylight and then now it's dark. So, it's a really nice machine, the outer um, part of it, it's a matte blush pink color. Um, it is plastic, but it's kind of like acrylic plastic. The keys are pretty heavy, and the machine is metal. Um, the carriage is really nice as well. Um, it's a real typewriter. It's real. <laughs> um, it's not fake. It's heavy, and um, it comes with the black and red tape which I did test as you can see this is the um, typewriter font that it has um, the great thing about this machine um, besides the fact that it's a gorgeous vintage look and the fact that it's a pretty pretty pink color is that you can feed a 12 by a 12 inch sheet of scrapbook paper in the machine and just type right on it. That's really nice. Um, it does not um, come with anything other than one ribbon. However, you do have the ability, and let me just um, grab it over here to purchase colored ribbons. So you can get um, silver, white, magenta, light pink, blue, teal, um, and I believe brown as well as extras. These are sold at Michaels, they're $9.99. Uh, you can use coupons, I used coupons for these, so they were $5 basically. And also, they have accessories like labels and little um, cards that you can uh, use and feed into the machine. I got the pink and gold. They also have black labels and silver, so it's really cute, really neat. Um, that also, you can use your coupons. However, the machine, you cannot use your coupons on the machine. This is $199.00. You have to pay full price. I tried online, I tried in the store to use a coupon, it did not work. It just, the register does not allow it to scan for that item. So, um, if you want it, it's worth it, I believe. It's, it's gonna get some taking used to. Without really going through the mechanics of everything, I'm pretty sure if you're looking at buying a typewriter you probably already have used one you probably learned how to type on a typewriter um, if not if this would be your first time using one I just want to say it is not like a keyboard it is not like a tablet it's not like a Mac it the keys are hard especially the A my pinky finger is super short and super like it's not strong so you have to really punch hard on that A this is a genuine typewriter um, however the keys do not stick everything's brand new everything's working great I tested it um, it's really nice what else can I say the only thing that I'm wondering about is um this little lever here this thing drops now i used to use a typewriter i just forgot how to use one so i'm kind of learning the ropes all over again but this here um 
it, it drops down. So when my page is all the way at the end and I go to shift the machine over, you're gonna find that if the lever is down, it's gonna scratch the surface of your machine. And if I close up a little bit here, you're gonna see some scratches there. Um, now, I hope that that comes off. I'm gonna do some research. I don't want the paint to peel. I don't want to damage the pink color. So um, if it does not come off, that's gonna make me really sad. But um, yeah, so I don't know if I need to maybe tighten up that so it won't drop. I'm not sure. I'm not sure there's a purpose for, you know, the lever going down. I'd have to, you know, read the, the manual. I did not read the manual. Um, I did have to make some adjustments to my craft table to fit the machine. It's pretty big. Um, if you saw my Instagram photo yesterday and maybe even a, a little video clip, you would have seen the machine on the desk. And this tower here, this... Um, what shall I call that? Uh, it's from Ikea. And this Ikea stand, let's call it, was over here underneath my silhouette machine. So my silhouette was elevated. The selfie Canon printer was underneath the stand. and But it just, it didn't look right. It did not look right. I want the focal point here to be the, the machine. And when I'm ready to use it, I'll just pull it down, put it right on my desktop, and type. Um, this works to a couple of advantages. Number one, it gives me more space on the desk. So if I am working on um, my Bible journaling, or if I am organizing some stickers, or playing around with ink or whatever, I have additional space under here that I can just move my supplies over and it's not on top of the machine. Um, also, it's really nicely elevated. It looks pretty. It looks like it's the focal point and it just brings everything together on my desk. It's really spacious. Uh, I, I brought the, the box on top so you could just see how huge this box is. It's really nice. It's, it's made by American Crafts. It's called Typecast. And um, it's just a really, really nice machine. I am fortunate enough to have found the last one in Palm Beach County. We, um, we went to One Michaels near my house. So if you girls are living in downtown Florida, West Palm Beach, Royal Palm Beach area, they're sold out at Okeechobee. They're sold out um on um, state road seven and they're now sold out at pga because this is the one from pga um so my husband drove over to a couple of michaels and then finally um they called pga and the last one was at pga so we ran over there yesterday and got it and it's so beautiful I wanted to show you the box, but I can take it down now. Um, so yeah, I did a little rearranging here just because I wanted to make my craft desk functional. What used to be here was a laptop. The laptop, I never used it. The keys were broken on the laptop, so I had to use a, a wireless keyboard. It was just a huge, disgusting, ugly mess. So I took everything out. I brought back my washies and some stickers up there just to give you a cute little preview of my desk. So now it looks really nice here. I'm excited uh, about using it. If you look here on the sheet, you can see that I've done some testing. Um, it's gonna take a lot of getting used to learning where, you know, the dollar sign is and the double quote it's very different from the keyboard that we normally use so but it's totally it's gorgeous and it's worth getting i recommend you get it it's it, it is pricey so um maybe for christmas you can put it on your wish list or if your birthday's coming up um that would be really nice another thing i wanted to 
share was that it actually matches the Webster's Pages Traveler's Notebook, the blush with the gold. It's a perfect, like, it's a perfect pink. <laughs> I mean, it's the exact pink color. I don't know how that's possible to different companies. But I also wanted to show you that um, this book I'm using for kind of like my smash booking. When something happens at work or at church or I have a photo of something, I want to document it. I don't want to have to wait until the end of the week and do it project lifestyle. That keeps me so behind. So I take a, I take a photo. I either print it. In this case, I had an Instax camera. This is what my desk looked like yesterday. You see that the typewriter was right on the desk. And I just made a cute little page about my typewriter. So I've left these in the front blank because I want to document um, when we went to Legoland. So here's that ticket that I have to put in here. But this is how I'm using it, just in case you're curious. If you're curious about the pad, I do not remember where I got this pad, but oh, it might have been TJ Maxx because it says Graphique here. So it might have been TJ Maxx like two or three years ago. Anyway, so yeah, that's the cute little um, typewriter. I'm just trying to think if there's anything that I'd be wondering if I were watching this video and I'd want to know. Um, you can switch the colors from black to color just by moving that up then you can use the um, colored part of the tape and um, the keys like I said you, you might have to use two fingers <laughs> and do it that way until you get used to because it's pretty hard like you have to really slam down on the key to get a nice dark impression the good thing is you can use your backspace to you know retype that letter and I've just done an A. So if you go ahead and you use your fingers like you would on a keyboard and you hit a light A, as you see there, you can go ahead, hit that box space, okay, and then retype that A and now it's a little darker. So that's a nice um, thing that you can do with your machine. Um, like I said, it's really nice. You have certain uh, levels here where you can adjust the spacing this button on the right that if you press that that's gonna bring your carriage all the way to the beginning again and um, it's really really cute it's really nice I hear that they're coming out with white and mint green I didn't know that until after I got the machine I probably would have waited for the white or the mint green because it kind of matches what I'm going with here um, but I love the pink I really do I love the pink um, pink was my original favorite color when I was a little girl so it's kind of bringing me back to my younger years and if you're interested in the pink they're only being sold at Michaels so I suggest that you go to your Michaels today um, if it's still open, if you're in California, it's still open, or um, buy it on. Actually, online it's sold out. I don't know about the black, but the pink is sold out. So, um, but the other ones will probably be available um, at other locations, not just Michaels. The other colors, okay? So I hope you have enjoyed taking an another closer look at the new typecast typewriter um, I'm gonna probably enlist a couple of pen pals and write to them a nice little <laughs> cute letter and I, I think it's fun I think it's so cute it's very vintage looking and and I'm I'm excited about it so I hope you guys have a great week and um, if you have a question, if there's something that I did not cover that you're curious about, let me know. And if I have an answer, I'll respond. If I don't have an answer, I'll let you know. Um, if you're new to this channel, I welcome you to subscribe. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, okay? Have a great week.
talk to you in the next video.